buddy. Had some time to do this and I've needed to finish this off, so I wanted to get to it. We'll let people get on because we are live streaming. Play with the camera here a little bit. Take off my shoes. It's such a nice sunny day. I actually opened the blinds so I could see some glare here, but I don't really, I don't care to be honest because it's so nice. If you can, give me a thumbs up just telling me that you can hear me. We got Hot Wheels Hunting in the UK coming on. Titan. It's a long name. Audio is good. Awesome. Awesome. So I have not done a purge for a while. It's actually, I think, been well over a month. Um, we did the last sale a while ago, sold some of the cars. I, there are so many cars to still sell that I purged out of the collection. And what I'm going to do, I've actually scheduled. So if you go down into the video description, and I'll put it in the comments as well, I've got the link for the Whatnot Show this Wednesday. It's going to be 7 p.m. Pacific time. And it's uh, all, I mean, just cars from the last Purge shows and then some from this show we're going to put up. I'll have some that'll be in the Buy It Now, and I have others that will be um, some in the Buy It Now and then others in the auction. And remember, this I've reserved this sticker for everyone who makes a purchase. So every order in every show from the Lamley Collection, only from the Lamley Collection, that's the Loose Cars, and the carded cars get this sticker. I've had a limited number made. When I run out, I'll think about another one or something. But right now, that's what this is. I did this kind of special edition version of the sticker. And um, JVR, you know which car I want. You're going to have to <laughs> remind me. I get a lot of messages. Anyway, but when they go up, be ready. you got to be watching. So Because I'll, I'll you know check the buy it now. So I'll, I'll start loading those up maybe tonight, tomorrow. And then... Every order, order gets one. I can't tell, it's not every car, but every order. So whether you buy one or a hundred, you get one of these per, per order. So, um, and they're cool. Like, like I said, I've had friends that I'm very close to that I would normally give a sticker to say, Hey, what about that, uh, metallic Lamley sticker? I'm like, go buy something, man. I have not given it to anyone. No Hot Wheels contacts. No, no one. So, um, it's only for those of you who make the purchase, because I think that's only fair. You know, I have these other stickers, like this is the regular one. Advan inspired, right? Red and uh, white. And uh, kind of wanted to model it after those colors. But I thought, and then there's the small version of it for like water bottles and stuff. These are vinyl, they're really nice. But anyway, um, so there's that. So I'm just letting people kind of get on right now, and then we're going to do the purge. It's not anything too crazy, but uh, I wanted to finish this. I, someone made the comment, nice show today. That was a fun one. Love seeing those cars sell, and we're prepping already for the Terry Diecast show with the R34s, which I know is going to be madness as well. So, um, But we'll get more on that in November. And then there's... So here's what's coming, and then we'll get started on the purge because we're live streaming. So what do we have? We have... Heard show Wednesday. Oh, Tuesday will be another Hot Wheels sneak peek show here on YouTube with Phil Realman doing Elite 64 and 143 and some other stuff. Then I've got um, the Car Culture showcase to do, Modern Classics. I've got the two-pack showcase to do. Um, we'll do, those will come up. I've got a mini GT showcase. And then next Saturday is the M2 show, which we're going to sell off some of the JDM M2, give some away. It's time for this collection, which I have a really cool M2 collection, uh, all Japanese cars. It's time to go to someone else. I have, you know, I need to make space just like this, just like the Purge shows. I need to make more space, so I'm going to move those on to other people. Hopefully you guys can come on for that. And then, uh, yeah, and then we prepare the following week for a big Mini GT giveaway show and then the Mini GT charity show, which you're going to get more information on Um for it's going to be that I can't tell you how cool the mini GT charity show is going to be uh, mini GT and Kyder house. Some things that you've never seen before. All right, 
let's do this. Okay, so we left at Tesla. So if you remember, I've decided with my basics at least to break things down to keeping just new models, castings that I really like collecting, I'll keep. Um, yeah, where we left off was actually, we're gonna start with T's. This is where we left last time. These are all the new additions. Um, right, these are all the first editions, new models, right? Studebaker, Subaru, and I think we're then we're gonna start with the T's. And then I have the standard cars right here, and we'll load those up. These are the cars that I'm keeping in the collection. So some of the Porsches stayed, others didn't, but um, yeah. And then what I've noticed after doing that perch show is people were very interested in um, these cars, and I'm really happy to see that. I think people wanted the sticker and people also wanted the cars something out of my collection, which I think is cool. So, um, all right. We've got some, just looking at the, uh, <laughs> the white glove is collectible. <laughs> it actually makes it nice. See, I got a bare hand over here, but I've been doing those close-ups, And so I just, yeah, I just think it's better. I think it's just, think it's better. All right. I might even take it off later. I just, it's just, it's just something that is less distracting. All right, so we start with Tesla. I do not believe that this is, you guys can tell me, I do not believe, I'm gonna move over here just a little bit. You guys can tell me, I do not believe that this is a, for a new edition. Anyone who wants to do all the, uh, so I think I'm going to purge that one. I think the first edition was it, there's the blue super, there's the Zamac, you guys remember? <laughs> Do you buy a server and you get a pair of white gloves? No. I mean, I have a lot of them. All right, here. You, yeah, I'm just, all right, you guys are all mean. No, I'm kidding. Can someone tell me, is that a first edition? I don't think it is. What was the color? It was like, was it red? I don't remember. You guys can tell me to put it aside. I believe this one was a first edition. I don't, sometimes I have my computer out, but I don't today. So I think this was a first edition. So I'll put that off to the side. I believe this is a recolor of the first edition, right? And then this is just the second version. So I'm going to purge that out for sure. What camera do I have? This is just my iPhone for live streaming. So this gets purged. By the way, well, we'll get when we get to it. We'll talk date and diecast. This is the first edition. I think with these wheels, that's the first edition. Am I correct there? I believe I am. So that one will go into the first edition pile. So these are the, oh yeah. So now I have that figured out. I put the Cybertruck here. These are later editions of the Tesla, what is this, the Tesla 3. I think I'm going to be purging those because I feel like I'm I'm good on Teslas. Spooks, the uh, link to these cases is actually in the description of the video. Someone's going to bed in Germany. Yeah, I'm probably starting a little late for our friends in Germany. Apologize for that, but you can watch this later. I'll upload it, so... Happy to do that. Okay, those are all being purged, I believe. So did anyone tell me on the Teslas that these were first edition? Well, we know they are. And I think this one is as well. I think the red and the white are first editions. J, K, oh, let's see. J and K, so maybe white was first and then the red. I believe so. So those all stay. And then this, this goes. Purging that. Do I work for Hot Wheels or just make videos reviewing them? I do not work for Hot Wheels. I do not. All right, so we got the Teslas. We'll, uh, let's just handle that right now. I've got to get my box here. Hold on.
Purged. Purged. We did we determine this is not a first edition, right? Purged. Purged. Purged and purged. And then first editions. So we'll put Tesla right there. We'll put the Y like that. Part of this whole project too, and I'll probably do live streaming, is when I have to determine what years they're from. Ah, maybe I won't live stream those. That might be tough. That might be a little tedious, but um put this right there and that one right there. So there we are on the first editions. Okay. John will be seeing more matte designs in 2024. Yes, you will. This is the one that everyone wants. And we sold out of that actually pretty quickly. Hello from Estonia. And we're working on something new that uh, you're bound to like. You're bound to like. All right, should we get into Toyota? Let's do this. So Celica. First edition, first edition, and then kind of first edition, right? Wasn't this a 10-pack exclusive or 9-pack exclusive? Where can you get some Hot Wheels cases? Check the description. And then this one is just a model. Let's, we'll talk about that one in a second. So, all right, so empty case. I'll put this off to the side because we'll probably be using that again. Now let's get over here. Finish off the Celicas. Celicas I really debate because, let's see. They are nice, but I, again, like a lot of these cars, and we'll talk about this with the Super 2, there's just, I mean, I love this casting. I think this is a Junamai casting. Recolor. Toyota, they didn't have the Toyota license for a while, so this, va this casting kind of vanished. And then they brought this back again, so we have these two versions, right? You've got the MC5 from several years ago, and then this Steely version. And if you notice, there are some changes because they took the JCCS and the JNC logo off of this one for the multi-pack. But everything else is the same, pretty much, outside of the wheels. See, so here's where I start debating. I could be happy with just the first editions. Padwin is selling, telling me to keep all the Celicas. I'm not gonna. I think I'm happy with these three. We're gonna purge those. I just, it's like I have to go with my gut on that one. It's like I debate and I just, I think this is, you know, these will be enjoyed by someone else. So that's what we're going to do. If Hot Wheels wants to put out some more. Um, Kevin from Germany is here. You guys remember, if you say, if I decide to keep them, then... Um, Or when I decide to get rid of them, that means they're going to one of you. Or if he wants to bid on it. Okay, so first editions. Let's just get that out of the way real quick. So they might do a multi-pack version again and replicate this stock livery. And if they do, I will definitely keep it. But yellow or green, yellow, and then this blue, which I believe was a multi-pack exclusive. All right, first edition's done. All right, let's talk Supra. Let's talk Supra. Very popular casting. I have 
kind of have all of them. I don't, let's see. We have, I think this is the actual first edition, right? This was, this came out in the Fast and Furious set, but the official first edition was that one with the five spokes. And there's obviously a quite a difference between the two, right? The This one has more detail with the gray spoiler and everything else. And this one has none of that. So it even has the headlights on it. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I think, we'll do this, keep it right here. So this one goes into the first edition pile. This one I'm gonna keep just because of the significance of it and the execution of it. I actually, you know, I obviously have the premium ones, but even the premiums, premium don't have the silver spoiler. Then there's Falcon, and you guys know that I'm doing a sub collection of Falcon. So that one stays. And so will the recolor, of course. So those stay. But now we get into it. There's that. I'm just going to put them off to the side here for a second. Here is this one in the drift colors. It has a super treasure hunt counterpart. Now I typically don't, I typically keep the separate tre super treasure hunts extra, but I are separate, but I have this extra one. If I remember, hold on a second, we'll go through this. This is a, the Neato tire version. Black version, like recolor to the Neato. Then these started returning again, right? The Fast and Furious. This was a five pack version. This is the amazing Fast and Furious. Beautiful, beautiful version. Love that one. Another, was that Mystery? This was a Mystery car, right? Last year's Then and Now with that one right there and then this very recent fast and furious what i don't have is the other orange fast and furious car right um they just did this one again right in uh in a five pack which it was the fast and furious five pack which i don't have okay so let's talk through this i'm gonna look hong kong hunting uk is not a fan of the drift Podwin, Padwin has the silver spoiler. Jolly says this is hard to do. Sometimes it is hard to do. Okay, I want to check my other super. So hold on. Let's see where it is here. Okay, here. And I can't remember. I was feeling like there was a difference between the two. Let's see, I don't, maybe there wasn't. Maybe it was in the regular. I'm looking at a little off camera, I apologize. You know what it was? I believe Let me check this regular one. Someone do me a favor. Look up this release. Just go to Google or something or even eBay and tell me and look up pictures of it and tell me if there's supposed to be something there on this car. on that front fender. There isn't on the super. I'm trying to remember. Someone looking it up, let me know. Oh, congrats Rico, you won the pin. That's awesome.
put this over here with the supers really quick. I mean, I guess I could look it up, but I don't have my... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Get my other phone. All right. Yeah, that's it. There it is. Ultimate flips. There's Falcon on the fender, right? So this one is a variation. It's missing, right? Right, Ultimate Flips? Mine's missing. So it's an error or a variation. That's what it was. I knew there was something. I couldn't remember exactly what it was. But now I remember. Okay, cool. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what I think I'm going to do with the with the Supras. First edition I keep. Fast and Furious I keep. Falcon I keep. White version I keep. Black version I keep. The rest is gone. So the extra Supra's gone. This variation is gone. I will obviously specify that when I put it up for sale. So, so let's get that done. Let's talk first edition here. Put the camera up here. First edition goes there and we're finished with that. I have my Falcon collection here forming. What's my best super for 2023? Spooks, I ain't gonna answer that. First, we're poo pu pooch. We're purging. And I got the Lamley Wards. I'll divulge that later. I'll divulge that later. All right. So, Falcon and Falcon. You guys have to vote yourself. The We're working on the Lamley Wards. Look for it in November. They're gonna, it'll, I'll, I always kick it off with the super treasure hunts. So, best and worst. All right, let's move that over there. And then let's go to the cars that are going to go into the la actual Lamley collection. Okay, so this one goes, white one goes, and this black one is just sweet. It goes. All right, done. The rest get bagged and put into the purge pile. So I saw some comments. All right. It says Greddy on the top in the black area. Right there, right? There's Greddy. And then I think that's where it's supposed to say Falcon. On the other side, it says Falcon there and then Greddy there. And I think it's reversed on this side. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I collect Advan, but I, I know Advan's on this, but I'm talking about more of the, the style of the, you know, the, in that really well-known Advan livery. So like the black with the red stripes. There she goes. Cool variation for the variation collectors or the completest super collectors. There's a super for someone to bid on. Loose super. I like some of these drift cars, but I'm gonna just stick to it. You know, we now have the realistic Supra coming for, for RLC. What's my favorite Supra of all time? The last time I did a My Favorite Supra of All Time video, and it could change, I said it was the Moon Eyes Dodge Van. And I'd have to go through all the supers again to really determine if that's still the, still the case. Because there's been some real nice ones since. Sometimes my opinion just changes. I think the Honda S2000 was a really well-executed super. All right. 
Into the pile they go. All right. We'll put this one away. Yeah, see, here's some of those supers, right? This is before I started collecting the regulars with them, but... I mean, there's some good ones there. This is an all-timer. That's an all-timer. There's my favorite of all time. Last time I did it, this one's really nice. This one's terrible. Yeah, there's an Advan. There's a Falcon. All right, put that back. Let's continue with Toyota. Okay, this is easy. First edition, first edition, first edition, also store exclusive, purged. Toyota trucks, purged, and purged. Easy. These I know are People want this one really badly. It's highly desired. I don't, I don't care that much about it. So it's ra I'd rather have someone else enjoy it. All right, let's do these first editions real quick. One, two, three. Let's add these others to the pile. Did you show which charger you kept? Oh, no, I haven't shown it yet. I'll show it soon. It's uh, it's still, I don't want to say buried, but it's still like when where I film, I film on this. This is like a workbench. And so I have my tripod up, and I have to move my tripod in order to get to it. So, you know what? One of these days, when after maybe when I do the... When I do the... Uh, after we do the uh, Terry diecast models, I'll um, show you the ones I've kept. I'm still debating which one to keep from Terry diecast, to be honest. All right. Supra. Okay. So, I have no idea if Dumas is watching, but he's always been interested in this car. And I think I'm going to purge it. We have the new Supra out, which some people like better than this one. Other people don't. But I don't collect a lot of these with the retro wheels on them. So, I'm going to purge that one. Toyota 2000 GT. So, this is a tough one. Okay, so... I'm going to, this is where I need to, um, I'm looking here at the comments here, where I might need to get your help. So let's just go through the Toyota 2000 GTs. This is actually the first version of the Toyota 2000 GT from 2013, but it's not technically a first edition because there was a model that was designed by Juno Mai. This is his design for a road racing uh, premium series and the model was never made. That's why the Super Treasure Hunt in a rarity has a metal base, which it rarely does. Like the Super has a metal and the regular has a has a uh, plastic base. Um, yeah, JVR, I, your comment on the Super, that's, I, I may have said that wrong, but I, yeah, that's how it's wrong in one and mine is missing one. So there you go. So there is, so there's the first edition of this and then, but it's not the first edition, I should say. And then the next year's edition, they were okay with these stripes, but I don't, 
you know, they're not anything that I get. Hot Wheels has done better. They did the RLC version. They've done a couple premium versions that I like. This is such a great casting. Yeah, JVR remembers when I... Yeah, I've, I've always been excited about it, but I've never been into the releases of it. I've never thought it was that great because the best releases of this casting should be in plain colors or racing. This version's nice. I'm looking back. I'm going to look in the car culture. So we have... Japan Historics 1. Sorry guys, just bear with me here for a second. Oh, and then the Toyota version, right? Yeah. See, this is... I can't open it, but... Oh, it's there. Hold on. This one and this one, I mean, these are done straight up how they're supposed to, right? And the basics just don't compare at all. And then there was the RLC version. I think I can get that too. Let's see. Give me a second here. This is a casting that I have professed my love for, but I, to be honest, the versions haven't been great. This is the RLC version, which is really nice. Don't like the wheels on it, but it's really nice. Um, so I'm considering a full purge of this one and just keeping the premiums. I might keep this one just because there's the super treasure hunt version of this. And I will. The other is gone. Let's do it. Let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of them. JDM dude is sending a wonder if I don't. Yo, I'll, there's always regrets. There's always regrets. But I tend to not listen to those. I mean, meaning like, it's like, oh, if I would have sold it now, it would have been worth 10 times more. I've had, you know, there's cars I've sold that are worth, that I've sold for one price and they're worth 10 times that price now. There's cars I've sold that were 10 times that price then and now are almost worthless. It just depends on what people want. And you can't really go by this. What I'm really going by, two things. One, obviously I need the space. Two, like, what can I, what should I be covering and stuff? But number three is, um, like, these can be enjoyed by other people. There's, there's always, every day there's new collectors kind of entering the hobby and they've missed out on these. I might keep this one. I'm gonna, that one's cool. I like that one. But, um, we'll do the super here. But I, uh, I sometimes wonder, like, are these cars, like, they're just, just put away? If they're good for videos and stuff and showcases, then I'm happy about that. But other times I'm like, ah, these are just, they're just put away. They're just put away. All right, first editions we don't need. But standard collection we do. So... There is, you know, obviously commerce involved in selling these, but one thing about commerce is the person who wants it the most and is willing to pay the most gets it. So I figure it's going to a happy home. I hope it is. All right, let's keep going. Now this will be a controversial take, I think. 
There's one car I need from John. Which is the card? JVR, say which one it is, because I'll tell you if it's if it's going to go up. I can't remember. You'll have to mention what it is. Okay, so the old Corolla. So this is a super rare variation. As the story goes, this is one of Junamai's first designs. You can see Junamai has evolved as a designer. Who, who am I to say, by the way? <laughs> I mean, but it's just, you know, it's nice, but compared to like later castings, it's, you know, it's definitely been improved upon. But apparently either he didn't like this color, this like matte gray, and switched it to white. This was the standard first edition. These are the faster than ever's, but it was like, but he, um, they switched it, but these weren't supposed to come out in the flat gray. I think that's the story. Orange tracks here. He could verify that maybe. He didn't either. He didn't like it, or the factory didn't like producing it because I don't remember what it was. But this is a rare car. So that's the standard version there. All right, I'm looking at the comments again. Oh, the 599XX. Yeah, I got to think about that one. I can't remember if I put that one up. I think it still might be in the... I don't know. All right. Keep the red and white retool. Okay, so and then... All right, so let's go through these. Gray variation, white, five-pack version. Uh, Cars of the Decades, right? Was that what it was? Orange truck is confirming that. Initial D style, right? Panda. The reverse initial D style panda. Um, this was just a regular release, and then they did the Zamac version of it. And then this was that then and now, I think. Oh, and there was a super treasure hunt of this one, too. Right? So I have... Okay, so here's what I should keep. Oh, and then whatever this one was. I think a five pack. Okay, we'll get to the new casting in a minute. I don't need the first edition because it's pre 2009, which was I said is my cutoff. I might, I have the Zamek in the Zamek collection. Do I want to keep this one because of the super? No. Nah. Let's think this through. I have the super. I, most of these are gone. Did I have the Olympic edition of the Corolla? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Let them go. Keep the main line of the Super. Now, that's gone already. And let's see. Supers became meaningless when they learned to customize. Well, I think the value in Supers really is... And I think if you can, yeah, if you want to recreate them, I think that's great. But I think the value is in, you know, the finding them. And so people get mad when I have all of them. I get it. But I showcase them because people have strong opinions about Supers. They're my... They are every year more than any other poll, the best and worst super polls in the Lamley Awards get the most votes by a million miles because people have such strong opinions about them. I think that's waning a little bit, but I could talk about that another time just because of the difficulty of finding them. It's not as crazy as it was maybe three years ago. But, um, but I, you know, I'm not totally sure on that. But still, every time I do the I do the uh, poll for best and worst super, and it gets by far the most votes. People have very strong opinions, and I know that too because I, whenever I show a video of me finding a super, which is not as, and I've said this before on these on these streams, it's not nearly as common as people think. I just film it when I do. Done. That's going to go. 
by the way. So that will be a fun one to watch, fun auction to watch for those that know. I'm just getting rid of that whole casting since I've got the Zamek and the Super. This one goes into the Falcon collection. This is not a first edition, right? Or is it? I don't think it is. I think the first edition was uh, Boulevard, right? For premium. So Falcon collection, Falcon collection. There's already one in the Zamek collection. Falcon collection, standard collection. I love this casting. Standard collection. I think this casting rendered um, the old one obsolete. That's my opinion. Put that to the side. So no first editions, but the Falcon collection yet. Oh, and good. We get our first chance. Here. We get our first chance to give a little shout out to our friend Dayton Diecast. So let's do that. Let me go get a Dayton Diecast divider. There we go. We'll move these or these advents down. There's the divider constructed and created by Dayton Diecast. It's a genius move and I've, I'll explain it every time I do it, but, or at least every video I do. Have these two little slots that pop right in and it takes that open two car slot for larger cars and you, and makes it into two spots for cars. Dayton Diecast right there. DaytonDiecast.com is where you can buy these. And uh, they're so if you if you have these cases, they're called Creative Options Thread organiz Organizers on Amazon, on Joanne, Hobby Lobby. And they really I love them. I swear by them because this plastic's kind of soft. The cars don't get damaged in them. And uh, I've been really happy with them. But the one issue I had is this larger. Now, occasionally you have a larger car and it's great because it fits in there. But most times, based on the cars I have, I just a waste of space. So there's 24 slots, but two of them I can't use. And so I end up, it's always 22. And then that adds up four each case. And before you know it, I mean, it's, we're talking a lot of cars. So that problem was resolved by Dayton Diecast. You just put that little divider in, it fits in, locks in so perfectly. And you can buy these right there. And it's so great. There you go. All right. That's done. I always enjoy it. was such an innovative move by Dayton Diecast. So I always enjoy giving him a shout whenever I need to use it. All right, let's uh, add these two to the collection. There's a gray plain version of this coming, I believe, in Fast and Furious Premium soon. That'll be in the premium preview that I'll do, that I did. I filmed with the uh, Hot Wheels team but uh, I'll post that soon. The box is called a creative options thread organizer. There are links in the video description. All right, let's keep going. Have we finished Toyota yet? Nope. Not yet. Okay. So this is easy, right? First edition. This is a first edition and a Target exclusive. This one's muddy. And this is a regular treasure hunt. Is that all the versions of that casting or am I, am I missing some? Is there one I'm missing there? I can't remember. Regular treasure hunt's cool. It's pretty sweet. All right. And then nice version. The first edition, I have to find them. I don't, I didn't keep them in the collection. It's not a casting I'll collect, but, um, but I know they're being turned into amazing customs by Hello Kai and customs for the fundraiser we're doing. That's a first edition. This is not, we'll get to the van in a second. So Let's talk about these for a second. First editions are easy. Let's another Dayton diecast shout out, but I already have the divider in there. So blue, 
black. They're good. So in the regular collection, I think I'm going to continue to collect this one. Am I missing one? I have four. Putting that one in here. I'm just doing it off camera. There's the regular treasure hunt. I just think that's a cool casting. I want to keep it. This one, first edition, easy enough. So we'll put that in there. Jim and Tony's is here. Nice to have you. Purged. I'll keep the first editions on the Tacoma. This is a great model. I just happy with the first edition. I don't know. I might I might be talked into it later, but hello, Will. Done. Okay. Let's finish off Toyota. First edition. First edition. Regular. I think I might keep this. And then there's a Target and a Recolor, right? So we'll add the first editions. That's easy enough. I think I'm going to keep this one too. I'm going to keep going on that. So. I just think it's so awesome. I think I'm going to keep it. And I am going to leave some space. Because one, two, I'll just do this so that I know to add a couple there. All right, VW. What do you guys think? Cool combi. Die cash cars wants the purge super as well. Go join me on whatnot Wednesday night. Maybe some of them will pop up. You never know. That's how to win them. That's how to get them. All right. I have been collecting the cool combi in its entirety as a completist. Now the easy thing is that this is a first edition. And so is this. And so is this. So they go into the first edition collection. The next big question is whether I keep all the rest of them. And I'm tempted to do it because for two reasons. One, it's a great casting. But number two is it's on the level of... It's kind of achieved... Yeah, see, Will's already predicting it. It's already achieved level of like the 55 Bel Air and the 510 Wagon you know, the Silverado. And I think like, I still want to do some content with this one. I'd be willing, I'm not really into these other versions and I'd be willing to purge them eventually, but not yet. So they stay. So we'll put the first editions away. We'll do that. Uh, where are the, right here. They go. That's easy enough. But the rest of the combis go too. So they're going to stay. So we'll just get these out. They're cool. Five pack version. Obviously this is the one with the super. Beetles. Moon eyes. First target. There were two. Some updating to do actually on these because look I've got 
think that was a mainline release. Mainline release. Mainline release. Mainline release. Mainline release. And then there's another target that I only have in the target collection. I only found one. Just some sort of holiday version. And then I have all the premiums too. But I've got all those Moon Eyes this year, right? So there was the Zamac. I wonder where those are. I feel like I had them. Hold on. They're in the Moon Eyes collection. I don't think I need to add them, like open the entire the new set of them just for these. So I'll keep them out because I already have the Zamac in the Zamac collection too. That's already too open. I don't need to do any more than that. So let's just put these in the mainline collection. So it's sporadic, it's everywhere. The Toy Fair's in the collection, all the premiums are in the collection. All right, we gotta start a new one. Um, we're gonna finish this today. They're everywhere, so compiling them all, I have to go in different, sort, different places to get them, but I got them. And I just think that right now, we got to keep that collection going. All right. This one, I can tell you right now what's going to happen with this one. This one's easy. First edition, first edition, purged, purged. I have this one with the super treasure hunt. Red edition, purged. I already have one in the red edition collection. Purged. Purged. Easy enough. So we'll put that one in the, let's get the first editions over here again. Oops. I, I would love to see that casting become a premium. It's an awesome casting, but I, I'm not that into the deco of it. So, JVR, I think a cool combi showcase is in order. I, you know, I've done I've done a cool combi before, but I might do, and I promise you, not till next year after the Lamley Awards. But maybe I'll do one like. Remember, I put pit like legends against each other. Like maybe I'll put like the five ten wagon versus. The cool combi, you know? Could do that. Collector Holic, how are you? All right. Away these go. Okay, this is easy. Let's just do this right now. First edition. First edition. First edition. Magnificent casting. All the, the later versions of, of this one didn't need to be done because this this first edition, these two colors are perfect. Although white would be great. Ooh, premium and white. Premium and white Hot Wheels of the Brasilia. So sweet. First edition. I think this was not a first edition. I think it was actually a 10 pack, but done up based on the first edition. Purged. 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 So let's do, we'll take this one out and then I'm keeping this one. This is a first edition, but pre whatever, it's 2006. 
I just love this model. I've I've done features on this. This was which one's the hard to find multi pack version? Dayton. This one. Um. Well, he's answering that. I'm looking here. This one has this is this is a one dollar basic the white one huh this which one oh this one is the hard to find well I have that is it is it known among collectors to be a hard to find version I'll have to answer that this was a one dollar basic in two thousand six metal chassis um wow JVR six real life key as well metal chassis and then a removable piece. Metal engine and this metal spoiler. Crazy, right? Just a cool model. And they released that in 2006 and they released the uh, Chevy panel, same year, dollar, dollar basics. Kind of for fun. All right, so first editions, where are we at? For the caddy. Brasilia. All right. I think that's it for those for that case, right? It's full. So we'll move that over here. We'll start a new one. And I know that's technically not a first edition, but I'm doing it anyway, just because it's the same livery. It's my collection. I can do what I want, right? Purged by 9HW. Nice to have Dayton die cast here. Oh, all right, we're done with that. All right, these are gone. Yeah, the, it does have kind of a Jensen vibe, doesn't it, the SP2? All right, this is empty. Actually, since this, ca since this case is kind of old and yellowed, let's just put that one to the side for other storage. And since we just finished this newer case, We'll add the SP2 to that and the Dayton diecast to that. Move this up. Put the Carmen Ghia in this section. And we're almost done. We're almost done with the uh, basic portion, the mainline portion of the purge. Bum. All right. Is that it? Just VW and then a handful of Volvos, and that's it. All right. So, first edition. First edition. Wicked cool with the Nurburgring ring on it. Wicked cool with the Nurburgring ring on it. Easy. Let's finish off VW. So first editions right here, right? Regular releases right here. Oops. A 
and let's move to Volvo. And then I'm gonna we're gonna walk through something real quick. I'm just gonna walk through some of the other cases I've got, and I want to kind of see where we're at, and then we'll call this a day. We're at an hour, but we'll go a little longer. All right. First edition. First edition. Definitely keeping that. Definitely keeping that. I love this casting. Definitely keeping that. Definitely keeping that. Hope to see a super on that. We also have the premium version. And this is a first edition. That's it. That's done. You can see the moon eyes here. I have all the moon eyes basics. There's it's another super. I'll probably keep both of those. Let's put that off to the side here. That was easy. Let's get these done. All right. First editions. Nice to see Hot Wheels doing the Volvos and Matchbox for that matter. All right. Okay. So a lot of space left on those, but that will even out because what I'm going to start doing, and again, I may not do that. I just know what cars I'm saving now and I know what's been purged. And so what I need to do now is I'm going to start creating separate cases for 2009 first editions, 10, 11, and on and on and on. So I can keep all those together and that will be a portion of my collection. That will be kind of cool. And that's what's cool is they're like, I'll know what the gaps are and then I can fill those in as we go. Um, and then, so I have some other things that I need to go through. So you saw the Moon Eyes. I have the Moon Eyes collection. I definitely have a lot of gaps in the Falcon collection. I also have this like super treasure hunt collection. So I try and keep most of the supers cause I think they're interesting, but I don't have all of the supers by any means. And I, there was a time like back in the day, like we talked about the Toyota today. There's another Toyota Super, but I don't, there's, that's an old, a 2005 Super. It wasn't even a Super. Combi, Gasser. I think these are all, well, some of these you've, I've, let's see. Found, 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 found. Found, found, didn't find, found, 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 found. No, never found that one. Just have it. Found, found, found. Very first super Kmart days. Can't remember if I ever found that one in the store. Anyway, that those are. I'm not getting rid of those. I might get rid of carded versions. This was a gift from Phoenix Diecast. If you're on whatnot, you know Phoenix Diecast. He's great. Um, found, never found, never found, found, never found, found, found Colorado, Glenwood Springs, Target. I remember that one. Found that one, found that one, found that one, found that one. How about that? That was a brilliant find. Found these two in the same store, same day. Found those in that same store. Found this one. Employee was putting it back. Some kid left it on another aisle. Never found it. Found it. Dollar Tree, Richfield, Utah. Found this one, Richfield, Utah as well. Found that one. Never found, never found, never found. Anyway, I'm not really... That was kind of worthless. Um, let me get out this other one. Well, I'll show you. This is when I started doing the thing that I do with basics on one side. So whatever year this was... So all the supers, in fact, I will be like, I will be getting out my date and die cast dividers so I can condense this a little bit and make it better. 
but yeah, so basics, supers. Basic. So you can see, like, I like having these kind of collections better now. I'll put a date and die cast there too. Um, there, there's one there. The I like having these kind of collections now because, like, having this as opposed to just the cars themselves. It's like it just you get a better sense of what's been done. There's supers. Basics. So that's fairly recent, right? And then where we're at right now, all the basics up till end of this year. I did a reels on that yesterday, right? And then I'm going to open all the supers for the Lamley Awards, and they'll all go in here. So that'll be ready. And that's what I did last year. It seemed like not that long ago, but that was last year when I opened all of those. So, um, So my hope is I have more collections like that. This is the one that I pulled out earlier, but I do have like some extra stuff that maybe I will get rid of over time, but I'll figure that out later. Because some of these are generic. I don't know, but not worth like a full purge. I've got the Zamat collection. I don't need to go through that unless someone wants to. I don't even look at the comments. I've been off to the side. Um, Purple Passion, Willie's, I don't know. Whatever you saw there is what I have for Supers. And then, yeah, VW's. There's a lot of castings that I don't collect, so. So, yeah, I'm looking at the Zamet collection. Then I have, like, I have the ID collection. I have the Speed Machines collection, but those aren't basics. Z all the Zamax, every Zamax released, I've got all of those. I've got all the red editions. I think that's it. So we've definitely streamlined a lot, and I've got a ton to get rid of. So this Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific, I'll be back on Whatnot to, um, to give away and sell some of the cars out of the collection and then that we've purged out. So you're more than welcome to come and join me there. Good night, Will. And uh, crowdfund gasser, that's dead. That is dead. But can I explain what Whatnot is? Whatnot is an app, and it's essentially like eBay with live streams. So it's like a combination of eBay and like QVC back in the day. So people can stream, and I've loved it because they protect sellers, which I think they do a better job of protecting sellers than eBay does. They protect buyers. They handle the shipping costs, so there's not any like, oh, this car's 10 bucks, but I'm going to charge you $40 shipping, you know, to, to sneak that extra money in. No, whatever the, the you know, basically you, if I, if, I, if I charge you $10 for a model, whatever the weight of that model is, whatnot will calculate it. So let's say it's four bucks, they'll charge you 14. I won't even see that extra $4 for shipping and they will send me a label to ship the model out. So that protects the buyer. And that protects the seller too, because when people buy it, instantly charges their card. And so you can create a community. There's some amazing sellers on whatnot. And, you know, you're out there. You can't just, you can't be sneaky, you know. Uh, everyone's protected, which I think is great. And it's better than raffles and it's legit. And if there's problems, whatnot, staff's really good about getting them resolved and all that kind of stuff. So I'm a big fan of whatnot. I, I think they're awesome. And great for the collection. So I do a lot of my selling there now. I've moved even some from the Lamley store over there. So that will be Wednesday. But go on there if you haven't. And I would say if you haven't uh, been on Whatnot, go to the link below. Because if you sign up through me, you get a $15 credit towards anything. So anything you buy on the Buy It Now or auction, you get $15 towards it. So that's great. Anyway, I'm going to head on out. We are done, guys. So we're going to start selling off these cars, making space. Then we'll work to a matchbox purge, then a premium purge. Um, the premium purge is really extras I have because I have a full boulevard and full car culture and all that stuff. I'm not getting rid of those. 
but I do have a lot of extras carded and loose and we'll start be we'll start getting rid of those too. So really, really great opportunity to get stuff from me and out of the collection and really good opportunity for me to make some space. So I'll see you guys Wednesday. Be ready. Buy the cars you want when they go up. You'll get one of these special limited edition stickers. It's the only way to get it. I am out of here, guys. We'll see you Tuesday on YouTube with another sneak peek vid. I'm out of here. Bye.